to the lead in turn number one was Sheldon Creed right behind. And it looks like Bradley Morris, I believe, in that uh, BME machine. And look at that, Sheldon Creed. Oh, look at that, a speed technology sneaking up on the inside, Mitchell D. Young. And here comes Cheek up the center. Going inside of him is Vermillion. Well, coming around the outside, it looks like it is Zachary Hunt there in that bright orange machine. Then you got Green in the 522, the black taps. Morrison DeYoung bolt right there as well. And oh, our leader, Zach Hunt, gets into the berm just a little bit. As they charge to the whoops, you can see Sheldon Green trying to go on the inside, but the door is shut. Oh, no daylight. and Cheek goes for a wild ride over the whoops section, but pulls it off. Wow. Miles Cheek put that thing up there on the nose. I didn't know if it was going to come back. Well, you can see the top three have started to separate the rest of the pack right now. It is Zach Hunt. You can't miss that day glow orange. And I gotta say, Jim, look at this cart track they've made. Incredible out there for these youngsters today. Absolutely, and on the infield, we do have one of the trucks off the track right there. And our leader's pulling away just a little bit. Zach Hunt, Vermillion and Cheek battling back there for fourth and fifth spot. And you can see Cheek and Vermillion. Vermillion in the heart of Huntington. Sam Manuel machine there. But look at Zach Hunt, he's really starting to pull away. Well, don't forget, though, the competition yellow, Jim. I can't say it enough. We're going to see it a lot coming to play throughout the races. That's where we're going to re-rack them, re-stack them, bring them back up, and see that green flag drop again. When that green flags are all going to be going for it again. So you see the lead being right now by Zach Hunt. Well, that's going to be cut to nothing here. But Sheldon Green and Toe behind him. Paul in the third slot and Bradley Morris. And our fifth place truck, Miles Cheek, sideways and stopped in on the infield. Meanwhile, Brandon Vermillion catching up to our top three in that Hart Huntington machine. And looks like Jared Brooks right behind him. And I believe that is Blake Blake there in that red line machine. And look at this, Trent Briley in the Calgar machine starting to move up through the pack also. Oh no. Looks like he just slid out around. Everybody's getting around him cleanly, but he's back on the gas. So reset in the field, the top position in the 534, Zachary Hunt. Right behind them, the Fab School, Sheldon Creed, followed by the BME Motorsports of Bradley Morris out there. And Zachary Hunt last time by his fastest lap of the day. So our leader just getting faster and faster, laying down a 51.1, half a second faster than any other lap thus far. Well, it looks like Sheldon Creed is a little bit closer towards that first car than he was. But oh no, just as I say it, Creed has a problem. I see a little bit of smoke coming out. He pulls off the track. That puts Bradley Morris into the second slot. And there it is, Jim. The competition yellow is out. Time to re-rack and re-stack them. For folks, for those of you that don't know, approximately halfway through the race, there is a mandatory competition yellow that comes out. What this does is it allows everyone to regroup, go one more time. Our top three leaders that are running away with it don't necessarily like it, but everybody <laughs> else gives them another chance. You know, and it all plays into strategy as to what you're going to do throughout the race. Well, I can tell you the uh, spotters up top, that's where it's going to come big time into play with these guys on that restart there. But you talked about the man in front, or the young man, I should say, the future of off-road, all these drivers. But when that competition yellow comes out, things can change. Sometimes they do, but sometimes they stay the same.
Hey, also, folks, for you don't know, all the races being broadcast online on racedesert.com, the official tire, General Tire, bringing you that broadcast for all the folks that can't be here. They can catch all the action at home at race-desert.com. And hey, the green flag is out. He's threatening to wave it. And here we go. We are green. Oh, look at him at five wide, getting out a little contact there, but everybody gets out clean. And Bradley Moore is trying to stick it on the inside right now. Zachary Hunt's bright day glow orange machine in the lead. But look at this, Vermillion trying to make a jump up, and Jared Brooks denies him. And here comes Trent Riley behind him. Bradley Moore is sitting there trying to make the moves on the leader, Zach Hunt, but falls back just a little bit. But, oh, one of the drivers getting a little off the track, but back on, I believe that was Vermillion, but Vermillion back up and going strong again. Here he comes on the outside, trying to pick that position back up. That's where the spotter really comes into play, where they're letting these drivers know if someone's going on the outside or the inside, where they're gonna take that line away. Right now, all that matters, that hunt up front with these drivers, but Bradley Moore's trying to- And how about Buzzardo up to the sixth spot too? Anthony Buzzardo! Another Hart and Huntington team slowly sneaking his way through the pack right now. And it looks like he's got a real dogfight behind him. Why is there though. a race coming down back there between Lank, Bastardo, and DeYoung? That's right. Oh, look at that. Riding the front wheels through the Woo, whoops there's and recovers some, it. Well, there's been some all kinds of out of shape coming through there. <laughs> You gotta love this, folks. The future of off-road in front of you right now, I like to refer to as the Little League of Off-Road Racing. Vermillion making the charge in that last corner every time by. Can he make the move? We'll have to see. Right now, here comes Hunt Morris, Jared Brooks. Followed by Brandon Vermillion, the Hart Huntington, and the Calgar driver, Trent Riley. Anthony Buzzardo remains sixth place. Mitchell DeYoung hot on his heels. And DeYoung goes outside, inside on him, right next to him as they come through the whip, but it looks like Maya knows he got back in front. Through the whips here, charging hard. How about that for suspension? These youngsters and things are sucking them up. Oh, and it looks like we had some slower traffic holding up the leaders. It's we're gonna bunch everyone back up here. And I do believe that I see that blue flag with the yellow stripe. Folks, you don't know what that is. That's letting a slower driver or a lap, ready to be lap driver know that they're coming up the leaders right now. Do not impede. The white flag is out. The hallelujah flag is flying. One lap to go. Now's the time to make the charge. And look at this. Oh, outside. Morris goes to the inside. Contact and Hunt gets out of shape. And Jared Brooks slides into that second slot and Vermillion side by side with Hunt. Vermillion ducking to the inside, trying to make the move up the hill against Hunt. And then Trenton Briley getting by Mitchell DeYoung to go into the fifth to the sixth slot now. Only three spots on that podium, Jim. Who's it gonna be? The checkered flag will be coming out. It will be a drag race all the way to the black and white checker. Well, there's one more turn to go. Hunt's looking to try to take that third spot away from Vermillion. We'll have to see what happens here. But it looks like your winner is gonna be the 504 Bradley Morris. Followed by Jared Brooks and Brandon Vermillion rounded out the top three in that Hart and Tennington machine.